is a mustard seed, then nurture it, water it, grow it into that tree in your rainforest. We will be highlighting one of the prevalent social issues in our society. that we love and trust and by people that are strangers. Have you ever felt weird? Like you never really fit in? Do you find others a little odd? And does it boggle your mind how the next guy thinks, processes information or even lives their lives? Well, think no further, as our show today is about understanding yourself and even the next guy. It is refreshing to be understood. I used to think I was weird until I finally found out that my personality was the issue. Let me elucidate. The thing is, your personality, those characteristics in combination that forge our character is the problem. That is why one person is divergent from another. That's our show today. We'll be right back. Welcome to Our Reality with Sky. On today's episode, we will be highlighting a prevalent societal issue, misunderstanding our various personalities. So if you're listening to this, you are human or at least you should be, we fall into at least one of the following personality types. Entrepreneurs, architects, logician, commander, debater, advocate, mediator, protagonist, campaigner, logistician, defender, executive, consul, virtuoso, adventurer, entertainer. Now these are the 16 personality types. We're going to group them for you when we return. So the analysts are the architects, the logician, the commander, the debater. The diplomats are the advocates, the mediators, the protagonists, the campaigners. Now let's talk about the sentinels. I love these guys. They're the logisticians, the defenders, the executives, the council. Now what is a sentinel? A sentinel is a, a watcher. A person who watches. A sentinel is actually a soldier, a guard soldier, whose task is to stand and keep watch. So these explorers that I talked about, the virtuoso, the adventurers, the entrepreneurs, and the entertainers are people that we will talk, will go into detail defining. Because when we know how the other person things and acts, we can understand and our world will be a better place. Stay tuned. Welcome back. Now we're going to eviscerate each personality type so we can have a better understanding. Now let's talk architects. They are very strategic thinkers who are imaginative. The architect has a plan for every single solitary thing. They're actually very rare. They make up 2% of the population. They're highly, highly intellectual. They're perpetually cerebral. They're imaginative and decisive which is such a beautiful combination. Matter of fact, women of this personality types are very rare. 
I like to think of myself as an architect. Architects are ambitious, yet private. They don't feel the need to waste their energy on undeserving things. They channel that energy to the right thing. There's a sense of knowing what to do and when to do it. Also, how to do it. They are beyond curious. They want to know and be in the know perpetually. Architects, to know is their forte. This desire for knowledge comes early, very early in life. They seem to be a lot of a, you know, they seem to be a paradox to those who are looking on because they are original and at the same time, they're very enigmatic. By this, I mean that they are shrouded in mystery. They're confident, insightful, logical. They possess the willpower to rule their worlds. They seem to be able to break down and build back anything up, any idea, any system, anything that they come in contact with. They are perfectionists and moralists, and they can easily rob people the wrong way. You know, as you come in contact with them, you find that they're anti, you know, systems and stuff because they're perpetually questioning and so they they tend to rob people the wrong way they lose respect for anyone that can't keep up with their process or methods they're if you can't keep up with their rules and their traditions you know they lose respect for you um, they believe everything should be open to questioning so they analyze and they reanalyze this makes them very insensitive they seem insensitive because they find a different way that may seem better they don't want to take that unilateral you know they take unilateral decisions so it's it's all on them they don't want to take the conventional way tradition be damned don't get them wrong though this is not them being impulsive they're rational and deliberate they possess things you know they possess the power to process things clearly and they go over it over and over again to sh to make sure that their impending idea and, and methods work if you take time to understand them you would get along with them because they are brilliant and they are confident and they can't they cannot deal with little white lies or small talk as the hunger for depth and truth will not allow. They find social conversations and conventions and interactions and traditions very foolish. This is why amid their genius, they thrive out of the spotlight where they are comfortable and can work with the familiar. They're always trying to figure out new strategies and contingency plans. They perpetually outdo their pairs in everything and they have a bid for control. Do you know anyone who's like this? I know quite a number of people and in the beginning, I, I didn't understand them. I would, um, I would wonder why they were this hunger for control i i even thought it was a demerit but we're going over these personality types so that we can understand the people around us the people in our world because if i understand that this person is like this i can understand their methods and i can make excuses for certain things that they do we'll be right back So what are their strengths? They're dedicated, they're hardworking, they're goal-oriented. There's a high level of self-confidence. As I think about this thing, I think about the architects in my life. They're independent and decisive. They're quick, they're determined, imaginative. You know, their minds are so strategic. They're open-minded. They're actually a jack of all trades. Now let's talk about their weaknesses. Now, because they're anti-rules, um, anti they seem to be very arrogant and judgmental. They're overly analytical. They don't like too much structure. They, they have no idea when it comes to romance.
So a logician is the second type that falls under analysts. Now the logician personality type is very, very rare. They make up only 3% of the world's population and for them, nothing. Um, they could be more happy about than being common. They don't like to be common. Um, logicians pride themselves on being inventive on being creative. They're very unique and their perspective is that way and they have a very, very vigorous intellect. Now let's talk entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurs are risk takers. They live in the moment as life is a complete adventure for them. They don't like abstract concepts and global issues do not interest them at all. They don't watch the news pretty much. They're always a work in progress. The rest of the analysts are the commanders and the debaters and we'll discuss that. The commander is someone that is extravagant, intuitive, a thinking, a judging person. They're very decisive. They absolutely love to accomplish stuff. They gather information to construct their creative vision and don't waste time to act on it. They are natural born leaders, extremely charismatic, confident. They project authority. They draw a crowd with their goals. They're ruthless when it comes to rationality. They're driven. They're determined. They kind of overwhelm timid people. So the debaters are the next one that fall under the analysts. They are extravagant. They are intuitive. They are thinkers. They are prospecting. They tend to be bold. See, as the word debaters uh, go, they are high, highly creative and they have great mental powers. They pursue their goals like nothing else matters and they do not care about any resistance. Now, when you think, when I think debaters, I'm thinking about high school and people on the debate team. So they like the, the banter, the, the sparring with, you know, mentally. They like that because they're quick and they, they act on their feet mentally. They're, they have a broad knowledge base. They love to argue and eviscerate every topic. They want to understand the other person's reasoning and how, and that, that's pretty much how they achieve their goals. Have you ever felt weird? Like you really don't fit in? Do you find other people a little odd? Does it boggle your mind how the next guy thinks? Processes information. I am different. You are different and so are personality types. These 16 have been enumerated and grouped like so. Entrepreneurs, architects, logician, commander, debater, advocate, mediator, protagonist, campaigner, logistician, defender, executive, consul, virtuoso, adventurer, entertainer. Understanding where you belong will go a long way in making your world easier. Today, we talked about architects in detail. We introduced entrepreneurs and logisticians. Do you recognize yourself in any of these categories? Ponder these. Next time, we'll discuss more. How do you find out what your personality type is? I'll let you in on that on our Reality with Sky next episode. Goodbye.